Oh yeah, I'm Todd Bodmin, police officer and dog handler with the canine unit. This here is my partner Fiona, she's a Hungarian Visla. She's highly trained to help us fight crime. Check this. She can sniff out narcotics, explosives, cash in close quarters. Burglars, she smells sometimes. That's it, Fee. She's the greatest asset this police force has got. And more importantly, she's got a cracking set of legs for a two-year-old. I mean, the state of them. It's like nothing else out, isn't it? So how strong she is there. Tom and Fiona, both members of the Dog Support Unit, or DSU, are undergoing their annual training at this facility in Shropshire. What are you eating there? Both dogs and their handlers undertake regular drills to keep up to date with the latest gear. Fee! Now, a few years ago, we were lucky enough to be able to kit out our whole canine unit with body cams. Now, these cams are good because they're similar to the cams that our beat bobbies wear. So if you're in court and the evidence is needed, you've got concrete proof of what happened on that incident. After that, luckily, we're able to update to our HD live stream camera. Now I see what she sees on the scene. I see feces on scene. Do you know what I mean? I've got my iPad, I see live stream feces on the scene. Top spec, top of the line, see that in the palm of my hand through her eyes. Now we're onto the audio, very important. This here is the Aperture Deity shotgun microphone. This will record any sound directly in front of it. We know it's a bit big, but it's vital. It's important, we splashed out on it. This one is just for ambience. Now on the left-hand shoulder, we've got the Magnum Torch. Now that is a killer combination. If I flick that on and send Fee off into a dark situation, it is, if I can be honest, a bit too bright. I have to, you know, shoo away sometimes because it really gets your corneas. Obviously all this equipment needs a lot of juice to get her going. Now that is where our 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack comes into its own. I turn this on, we get six minutes of uninterrupted operational use. Recharge time, three and a half days back to full. Headphones so we can stay in constant communication. The pepper spray is just for me. Watch out. So, ready for operational duty, aren't we, Fee? Off we pop. Go on then, Fee. Drill time. Let's get up here, barrier search in case we're at a concert or anything. Anything in here? Anything in here? Search. Search. Off she goes. As puppies, police dogs are hand reared. Only a lucky few with desirable traits are selected to work as canines. The level of trust between these two has been earned over many years, forming the foundation of a working relationship that can last over a decade. What's this? What's this? What's that? Hey? What's this? What is that I've just touched there? No, we need to have a word about that. It's on a training ground. Where's Michael? Oh, easily the best part of this job is is working with Fiona. You know, being able to say I work with my, my best mate is is invaluable to me. I think people are jealous of that. I get to work with my best mate every day, day in, day out. And that right girl. And she is easily the best, second best after myself asset this police force has got and will ever have, as far as I'm concerned. Where's she gone now? Have you seen which way she's gone there? We can't have lost her now, surely. She might have her headphones on. Oh, I haven't got my radio on me. I might, can we stop there? I need to get her there, because if she's gone, I'm in big, big trouble. Unfortunately, this duo will face threats that require more than Fiona's nose. For this drill, I'll be using CS gas on our perpetrator over here, so just stand back and be aware, guys, all right? Mason, Mason, I need the mace, Fiona. I need the mace, Fiona. <laughs> Should see Fiona. She's got an arsehole like a fucking monster munch.